guys, a few DZ with you here, and today I'm going to show you how to install uh, TVMC uh, directly on any of the iOS devices. Uh, make sure that your device is jailbroken before you go into this. If you don't know how to jailbreak it, just leave me a comment or message, and I will upload a video on how to do it. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to disable the um, external keyboards. You know, all third-party keyboards must be disabled. The reason why is because if you have a third party uh, keyboard enabled it's probably going to kick in and you won't be able to input some text okay because as you may know there's a lot of incompatibility uh, compatibility really issues with um, the keyboards on uh, iOS 8 so what you want to do is first you want to go to settings here okay you want to hit general and you want to scroll down to keyboard sorry mine is in uh, French so you want to go into keyboard and you want to make sure that you have only the original iOS device Okay, the iOS, sorry, the iOS uh, keyboard. No Swift key, nothing. You can add it back later. It just takes a second. Actually, here you go. If you want to add it back, you know, it's gonna kick it directly for me. For, get GIF keyboard and Swift key. So just it takes a sec. Once it's done, um, what you want to do is you want to go to City. Okay, and you want to add this source here which is http double slash mirrors dot cody dot tv slash apt slash ios i'm gonna put the um... the source link on the description below so you can just um, copy it directly to your device once it is installed you want to go in it and there's only one package which is cody so when i hit cody and you want to install so mine is already installed so now i'm going to show you how to add the TV add-on uh, source directly onto it. Okay, so now that uh, Kodi is installed, this is going to be the interface that uh, you will have on the screen. Um, so we want to change this interface because we want to access a certain menu that we cannot um, through here. So you want to hit at the bottom right corner, the button that is in the middle is the settings button. So you want to hit that. Then you want to go to appearance, um, you want to change the skin, okay? We want to have it to Confluence, okay? Just click Yes to accept, and go back to this menu here. Now you just want to scroll to System, okay? You don't want to go into System. You just want to scroll through System. So it has to be in blue. Once you have it in blue, just underneath it, you can actually see four tabs. And we want to go to the second one, which is File Manager. So go to File Manager here and you're gonna double tap add source and this is where it's important to disable the um, the swift key uh, flow or any external uh, keyboard that you have or else you won't be able to see this okay so you want to type in here http I'm gonna have the uh, link on the uh, description below so backslash fusion dot tv add-ons dot ag slash you want to hit done and we're just going to name it let's name it fusion there you go hit ok and here we go we just added the source now we want to click the back button and this time we want to tap on system. So I want to go into system, we go to add-ons, just hit OK. Now you'll see install from zip file. So I want to hit that. And we want to choose the uh, add-on we just added, so fusion. Okay, just at the bottom. Uh, second one from the bottom, start here. Tap that. And you want to choose the one that is on the bottom. So plugin.video.hubwizard. 1.1.9. Oh, you want to hit that. It's going to take a few seconds and it's going to install automatically. Okay, once that little window disappears, you want to hit back. And this time we want to go to programs. So just hit programs. And you have here configuration wizard. There you go. Now we have iDevices, which is uh, between Apple TV and Ouya, so you want to hit iDevices. It's going to ask you if you really want to install it, so just click yes. 
and it's going to download oh, it's pretty fast depending on your uh, internet connection just make sure that you're connected to a good Wi-Fi you don't want to restart from scratch Go now. It's gonna extract the zip. Basically, what this does, uh, if you don't, if you're not really familiar with TVMC, it basically adds the add-ons by itself. And instead of you adding the plugins one by one, configuring it, you just download this, and it, it's gonna install pretty much uh, every big add-ons that you could have on XBMC Cody. So I'm gonna show you later on what's a uh, few things that are in it. One thing that I really like on it, actually. I'll show you a hidden uh, channel for your sports. And, um, basically, this is restarting. It's not a force call. So, and here we go. You're on the TV add-ons menu now. Okay, just dismiss this message, and here you go. Now your TV MC is configured with all the most important plugins. Once that this is done, you can go back to the other uh, skin. Okay, so if you, in order for you to uh, change back to the regular skin, so you want to go back to system, appearance, and we want to change confluence to retouched, and here you go. Now it's all configured. So in order to see the uh, sources, the add-ons, whatever you call it, you can go to videos here. You can change the view. Uh, you see, if you see at the bottom, there's like four um, buttons there. So just hit the second one, the one that has lines in it, and it's going to change the view, which is a little bit better. So you want to hit video add-ons, and here you go. You got Phoenix, you got Ice Films, yeah, basically everything that is in TV add-ons. Um, one thing that I really like, I'm going to show you. You go to Phoenix here, you go to the uh, third one here, well, the second, if you don't count the auto, which is Crusaders 88. This one is pretty hidden, so you want to go to Arabic channels, okay, and you want to go to sports, and you actually have Bain Sports USA in this. Uh, this one, I hit it here. And it actually plays in HD, which is uh, really good. And here you go. So for you guys that uh, like to watch Bean, you have it in Spanish, you have it in English as well. It's a really great thing. So uh, that's it for the rest here. Let's go back. <laughs> it is for closing because I'm recording from the so little incompatibility kicking in. But uh, here we go. Now you have all of your add-ons. You have the movies. You have the streaming. You have pretty much everything. So make sure, obviously, that your iOS device is jailbroken in order to do this because you need Cydia. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks, guys.